Okay, attempt two. This time I'm going to be much more organized. We're going to do Exodus and we're going to figure out how much my collection is worth and any cards that are not actually in stock, I'm just going to go ahead and make a note of it. So let's do Exodus. There are so many Magic the Gathering sets. It is hard to get to the letter E and there we go. I'm going to do high to low. So that is basically the cards that we're going to look at. And City of Traders, that card was very cheap when I first played this game. And I do have a bunch of Cities of, of Traders, which is good. So we're going to put in, wow, they have a bunch too. We're going to put in the category, we're going to put in two. So at 300, oh, so we got to clear it, we had to clear our we're to clear all this. Delete, 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 delete. So this was my failed attempt at Tempest. I want to know, like, I want to export this list of cards and have it on a file and really answer the question, can you make money from investing in vintage magic cards and how much money can you make from each set? So we have that, that's good, that's uh, 200 and some dollars. I'm gonna go back. Nope. Wow. Okay. Thank God I'm not live streaming this. That's kind of uh, embarrassing. Okay, let's delete that. Let's go to Magic the Gathering. Let's go to, uh, geez. Let's just go to Card Kingdom again. We have to reset again. Uh, and we can type in X O this. We can search, advanced search. We have to do all formats. It's very boring. I should not have done that. I should not have checked. So unprofessional. I bet I will get this down. I promise I will get this down a little later. Finally, we're back to our page. Okay, so we have two of these. So we're gonna take this off the table. We have two of these. And we're going to add two of them. And all these are near mint. You can pretty much tell. Mine over matter is blue. We have two of those. I so I kept a copy of two of them. The rest of them I sold because it was a good time to sell, I guess. Okay, let's see. Let's see the, the color colors. Hatred is a really cool card. Okay, and we have three of these. So we have free recurring nightmares. We'll put that into the bin. Hatred is next. Oh, so we only have one available. So we're going to do something interesting. We're going to take the near mint, which is $40. We have five. We're going to add $40 more value or 40 times five times five. And this is hatred. I noticed that this didn't really have too many cards. Spear of Resistance, uh, we have three of those. So they have six available. And my cards are basically near mint. Coat of Arms, okay, Coat of Arms, there's only one, so maybe I can do the EX. Oh yeah, I can do, I just do the EX. Coat of Arms and Druid. So let's take a look at the, the Oath of Druid, one of the my favorite cards from back in the olden day. Okay, let's do the EX, two of them available, and Reconnaissance. So you're gonna be pretty uh pretty uh crazy on reconnaissance, right? Uh because it's an uncommon. I have a lot of uncommons. So one, five, ten, fifteen. 20, 23, and this just got a reprint. This just got a reprint recently. So 23 times 10, okay, 23 times 10 reconnaissance. Oh yeah, calling a week, and, and the rest of the stuff, I'm just gonna do on average, just count it as $5 and then figure out, I, price of progress is $6, that's crazy. Spell shock is $4, okay, there's a lot of really cool cards I didn't bamboo I have a lot of, I have a ton of these I have a lot of these 
Okay, so basically those are the cards over $10. I don't know why these cards are here, but they are. Spike Weaver is there. These are all the cards that are also worth, in my opinion, a little bit of money. And we'll put that back here. Uh, and I'll show you the rest of the cards and then we'll do some simple math what my collection is worth today. And again, I'm only gonna, well, tip. I guess technically speaking, I need to go back and just estimate. I'm gonna count them as $5 a card. I think that's fair. Some of them are more, some of them are less for the, and then next time in uh, six months, I will redo this experiment and see where we are at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 24 at $5 a card. And we can go to our little cart. And we're gonna have a final total somewhere. 24 at $5 a cart. Card, card is, so we have $230, we have $200 here. And we have $120, so we have actually a very easy fee. 350, 550. Oh, we have 550 plus the 1570 and we have uh, 31, two. Okay, so that's how much money I have in Card Kingdom value for just, just Exodus. Pretty cool, right? Uh, so my idea was to do this for all my collection and then do it for my high-end stuff. Uh, unlimited, we have some really amazing cards in that binder that I showed off. So like Lion's Eye Diamond, for instance, when we do Mirage, Mirage is gonna take a lot. I have a lot of Mirage cards. When we do Mirage, I have eight Lion's Eye Diamonds in a different binder. So that's gonna be interesting. Uh, I, and, and here, if I have cities of traders out here, I probably probably have it all, right? I mean, let me move that from here. 16 cards at about a hundred bucks a pop. That's amazing, right? That's kind of amazing how valuable. So you got 3120 is my estimated value. I'm also gonna see which sets I have more money in, just even accidentally. I think uh, you will be surprised. I think Urza Saga, I have a lot of money in that set. Uh, so next we're going, so we didn't do Tempest. Tempest was like a absolute disaster pasta. It doesn't, you know, I, I just had half a Tempest. Do I have Visions? Visions would be cool. Yeah, Visions is cool. I have Visions near me and I have Weatherlight. I'm pretty sure that is the complete Weatherlight and complete Visions I have. Oh, and there's like fifth edition. Fifth edition is not really good. 